Hello, you're welcome. This is Goswe from Serene Arts. In this video, we are going to look at the basics of KineMaster. KineMaster is a video editing application, and it is one of them that we are going to use in these lessons. So it is better that we look at how it works, we look at the various tools in it, and see how best we can use them. When you open KineMaster, this is going to be the interface. So you tap on project, all right? Now, when you open KineMaster or you install it, make sure you, you are on a create option over here. Do not go to home, do not go to maze. Make sure you are on a create button. The create button is what is going to give you access to start the project. So once you start the project, you can enter the name of the project. So I'll write test, then I'll tap on a check mark. Now we have different formats over here, like aspect ratios. We have 16 by 9, which is for YouTube, and we have 9 by 16, which is also for YouTube Shorts or Instagram. And we have a lot of them over here. For now, I'm going to go with the 16 by 9. So I'll tap on create, and it will bring me here. Over here, I am to select the media that I want to use in the editing process. The media in a sense that it can be your video clips that you want to import and use. It can be the footage that you want to use. So right now I'm going to just pick a random image and use. I'm not going to use a video or better still I can use a video so that I will show you some things that you need to know as well during the process. So I'm going to go to my gallery and check it out. I think I have some videos over here and I'm going to use one of them. So let's say I want to use this one. Okay. Let's say editing or previewing this video clip may cause an error. Please note that the quality of the video will not be affected. All right. It's because of the format of the video, right? It exceeds the device performance. And now that's one thing I have to tell you, right? The performance of KineMaster on your device, it varies from device to device. Some device, it may work well. Some device, it may not work well, right? But I strongly believe that most of you are using, you know, devices that will support KineMaster. Right, so I'll tap on OK, all right? And the video will be imported. Good, so it has been imported over here. All right now i'm just going to cut part of this video because i don't really need all of this to show you one thing that you need to know so i'm going to cut part of it let's see all right so let's say this is the video i'll be working with in this tutorial so the first thing that we look at is to how to import a video file that was actually the first thing that we went through now right after that you come to the interface like this nothing has been selected over here this over here is a timeline we call it video timeline right and nothing has been selected over here yet so if you look at this area we have this button over here now this button it does a lot the first one over here is media we have layer we have Rec rec recording right and we have audio now the media it will allow you to pick files from your phone directly and import them so when you tap on it it brings you to the media browser where you can pick a video file and add it to your timeline right so when you pick a video file from here it will be added to your timeline it will be added as a continuation of the first video you added on the timeline either a video or picture you added on a timeline over here the second thing you imported will be added as a continuation and one thing you have to note is that if your slider I mean the red line over here is at the end of this first clip then the second clip that you are going to add will continue but if it is at the beginning of it then the second clip that you are going to add will start from the beginning i hope that is clear all right, so that is it about the media. Now we have layer. Now layer, when you tap on it, it will also allow you to add, you know, clips and stuff to your video. We call something B-roll. Yes, it can help you to add B-roll. Now when 
it comes to this particular option whatever you are going to add will not be on the same timeline or will not be on the same layer as the first you know video you inserted it will come down and it will be showing on top of this particular video it will not be in line with it but it will be showing on top of it let me show you what i mean right so when you come here you have different options you can add a media you can add effects you can add sticker you can add text you can do anything you want to do like handwriting stuff like this like shapes and stuff like that so for now i'm just going to pick a random image all right so let me use this all right you can see it has come down right it has come on top of this first layer look at this it is down here at the bottom right at the bottom over here and it's showing on top of this so it is now a layer it will not be in line with this all right so that is one thing let me just delete it all right good so the next option over here is a recording button when you tap on it it will allow you to record and add a voice over to your project and also we have the audio button over here audio button allows you to pick audio from your gallery or from the kind master asset store and at the middle over here we have the camera icon it allows you to take a picture or record directly and add it to your project right so basically that is it about this and when you come here we have this back arrow button over here and we have the this particular undo button and we have the redo over here then over here when you tap on it it allows you to capture your screen and save it as a picture when you tap on the first one it will allow you to snap only in this part of the work right and the second one is say capture and add as a clip so when you capture this it will be added as a clip at the bottom of your work and the third one is capture and add as a layer good when you capture and add it as a layer it will also come just like the clip right so that's something you you also want to take note of and the next thing over here is a settings icon when you tap on it it brings you back to the kind master audio video and editing options i mean the property settings now you can set your audios to fade in like this one fade in and fade out so anytime you, you put some audio in your kind master project it will automatically fade in and fade out provided you've activated this at the settings over here that's what is going to happen and the video you can have it over here also fade in and fade out then the editing this is a duration for picture right? like if you insert any picture the duration of the picture is going to be like four seconds long right that is going to be the duration of the picture and the display mode is going to be fit to screen this is basically my settings over here so that's how come you are setting you are saying it but if you don't want it that way you can change it by myself i prefer it this way so we back over here again and now if you look at this option all right let me show you this option it's kind of allow you to change the orientation of your platform like this whereby you can just drag and drop this one at anywhere that you want right as the video plays okay put it at anywhere at all you want and you are good to go right so basically that is it about this particular one if you want to go back just tap on it again and you are good to go now this option at the down over here enables you to move to the back or i mean to the end or to the beginning of the project easily without having to struggle right so what i did was i long tap on it and it came up like this so if i want to move to the end of the project i'll tap on the last one and it will take me to the end and if i want to move to the beginning i'll do it like this and it will bring me to the beginning so basically that is it now what you have over here is the kind master asset store the asset store is where you can download a lot of things and use like transitions right we have transition and stuff over here now anytime a new element has been added it will appear under this particular column new so when you come here you see new stuff being added now you can download all this stuff and use them in your project all right at the right time we'll talk much more about all this stuff for now this is just the introduction so we have the fs that is the 
the effects all right video effect that you can add blur color distortion glitch lens and a whole lot of stuff that you can add to your video right and we also have this one which is like transitions all right we have 3d transitions and stuff like that now let's look at this one and see how you're gonna be let's play it and see if you like it then you install it this is just a typical transition so i'm going to force it and let's say i want to download this so i'll tap on the download and it will download and install quickly that is it it's as simple as that then we have a bunch of things that you can use in your video editing over here we have this stickers we have you know music we have sound effects and we also have clip graphics then we have videos i mean sample videos that you can use in your editing then we have images that you can use then we have tests right tests simply means the fonts that you can download and use in your kind master right don't worry when you get to that point we will learn how to install fonts and kind master and use them for now let's go back and see what again we need to know right so if you want to export your video this is the option right so you tap on it and you can set your exporting varieties over here we, can, we have um, 1080 and we have we have the frame rates over here we have 30 we have 25 we have 24 15 depends on the one that you want to use myself i mostly use the 1080 resolution together with the 30 frame rate because it literally gives me a good resolution i mean quality video right now the few other things that you need to know we are going to basically look at them when we start editing the video those things come up when you select the video in a timeline you can see the things that pop up over here right we're going to talk about them when we start with the video editing for now this is the introduction to the kind master application the basic things you need to know are what i've given to you already and as we move on or as we progress in this course you are going to learn a whole lot of stuff so i highly encourage you to stay tuned because this is definitely going to blow your mind right so once again this is Gosu here from serene arts and i hope to see you in the next part of this course stay blessed